Welcome to YouTube, it's your boy Leroy So back here again for another video, man. Today, it's been a minute, but we have a death battle. This one, Batman versus Iron Man, DC versus Marvel, death battle. Guys, I'm gonna take your wages right now. Um, I'm gonna be honest. Out of both of the characters who I want to win, Iron Man. I like and enjoy Iron Man more than I do Batman. Realistically, how do I think this is gonna go? I think Batman may win, but I'm rooting for Iron Man. Actually, let's make let's make let's make a little bet. How about how about this? Look, if I'm rooting for Iron Man in my head, so if Iron Man wins, you have to subscribe. Because I think he's the underdog in the situation to a degree. So you have to subscribe. If Batman wins, and I'm not rooting for Batman, all you have to do is like the video. Deal? Deal. All right, anyways, we're going to get into it, man. Hopefully, I did was pretty good. If it wasn't, hopefully, this makes it a little bit better. Let's get to it. Lego. Batman, DC's vengeful crusader of the night. Iron Man, Marvel's genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. These two mortal men have used their intellect and determination yeah. to take their place See? alongside God. <laughs> filthy, stinking, rich shirt doesn't right, either. dude. I can use some Batman or Iron Man money. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win, win a death battle. battle. The thing is, both of them are like right. guys in, in suits with gadgets and stuff. Although Batman out of the suit is pretty tough, you know what I'm saying? Whereas Iron Man, Tony Stark is. No. Oh my god, no. Booty shorts. Until Mommy and Daddy got 360 no scope, leaving Bruce with a void inside him that could only be filled by the never ending quest for justice and vengeance. That night, Bruce Wayne died, and the Batman was born. He would devote his life to perfecting his body and mind to become more than human. He would transcend his own I am the knight. I am the knight Batman. I have a good Batman voice? Probably not. Batman's resume is absurd. He's mastered 127 yeah, martial arts. And is a super genius with a photographic memory. He's the How is that even possible? Bar none. Like how Barn. <laughs> needs to keep erasing Batman's memories because he keeps finding their secret bases. Or the time he found a dead body with no entry or exit wound and a 40-year-old bullet nearby and somehow determined it must have been fired backwards in time. Despite what? Marksman, escape artist, See, this is what I'm talking about. Comics are ridiculous, dog. <laughs> just one of Batman's that was cool. Stands above them all. His bat sticks! Oh. Tactical armor and gadgets for every conceivable situation. If there's one word to describe Batman, it's prepared. Who's your favorite Batman actor? Or Batman from film? I think I think Affleck's Batman was the toughest and by far like the most uh regal slash like lethal like Batman there was. So personally he's my favorite. Although Christian Bell's was really good, his films are iconic. You know what I'm saying? They they set a standard within a lot of you know within the superhero films. So I give them their props, but I think Ben Affleck's Batman could like would wail on Christian Bale's Batman. I know I made some people mad, but it is what it is. My opinion, dog. It's crazy, dog. Crazy. Miniature camera lock pick. It was these tools that allowed Batman to wage his one man war on crime. But once he got over his angsty loner phase, he helped found the Justice League of America. Hey, that was a good show. I don't care what no one says. That was a pretty good show. Justice League and then Justice League Unlimited. The back like the time he developed a backup personality that would ensure he functions as Batman in case of a psychological attack that drove him mad. Whoa, I know about that. Operating system, like a computer, but it's his brain. 
Yo, this is what I'm talking about. He's just too prepared. Right. Like his nightfall exosuit to battle pain or the Justice Buster, which he obviously designed Justice to combat Buster. the Justice League. He I've never seen that. Final bat suit from his sixth dimensional self that can rewrite your mind. But my favorite is his stylish zebra suit. The zebra <laughs> weird yeah. powers. They just made his suit look like this for some reason. What the heck? There's also the rainbow Batman suit, oh. suit of sorrows, and of course, the bat nipples. Chicken bat take nipples. the bat nipples. Oh my god. Never leave the cave without it. But perhaps his greatest suit of armor, the one designed to put him on the same level of insane mind bending power as his league teammates, is the Hellbat. Hellbat. Okay. AKA the single coolest looking thing ever. It is pretty cool looking. By Superman in the heart of the sun, each member of the Justice League contributed to this monstrous mech's abilities. Ah, oh, yeah. Iron Man might be screwed. The Hellbat is See, this is the thing with Batman. They're constantly adding crap to this guy, man. It's like, Jesus. He's already tough, and he's only human. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, he can use the Devastator, a punch powered by Wonder Woman's strength, and she's strong enough to yank the freaking Earth around. Though it does have a 95% Yeah, chance Batman might like have this one. <laughs> which he has given himself to save all of Gotham City on at least one occasion. It's that level of insane drive that pushed him to use the Hellbat in his one-man invasion of Apocalypse in oh order my to bring God. his son back to life. You know, really? Apocalypse, home to the God of Evil That's himself, what I'm saying. Dark side. Batman stared down the final blow. What? He comics and actually kicked his ass. What? Incredible. Considering Darkseid is a being strong enough to destroy entire universe. Dude, Darkseid like curb stomps Superman sometimes. Universe in seconds. Since the DC universe is significantly larger than our own, that would be over 600 quintillion times the speed. Here they go with their calculations. Avatar even took a sure you can from Alan Scott. Who was amped up from the energy of the multiverse? And Bats cleaned his clock just as hard. Whoa. But this incalculable strength is drawn from Batman's own life force, specifically his metabolism. Oh, it's not. Should any fight with the Hellbat go on too long, Batman may succumb to its hunger before finishing the fight himself. Uh -huh. Or absorb someone else's biomass for fuel. That works too. Ah, uh, yeah. You'd have to be Batman. Batman. <laughs> this thing. And Bats, that uh, is. Yeah, sorry to break it to you, but yeah. the grown man that wears his underwear <laughs> on the outside isn't all there. Yeah. In keeping with being a perfectionist, though, he's completely aware of this. That's why he does not kill. Because if he did, he understands that he can't... That's not what Batfleck said. <laughs> Stop. Batman has outsmarted the nigh-omniscient Metron, defeated his dark counterpart, the Batman who laughs, and humiliated Superman in a one-on-one -on -one fight. No, wait, that one's not... Became the god the of knowledge. Although many of his greatest accomplishments have been aided by his exceptional prep work and foreknowledge, he's no stranger to being put on the spot, even in the face of Armageddon. Who else would kick the Spectre, the Angel of Wrath, God's divine judgment, in the face, and then tell him to get the hell out of his city? I'll tell you who, the goddamn See, <laughs> Batman is so cool and all, but like... It's just too much sometimes. It's it's too much sometimes, dog. It's like, dang, like, give him flaws. Let him get beat. Something. My boy. Tony's parents died when he was still young, leaving the mind-bogglingly brilliant prodigy to inherit a multi-billion-dollar tech company. Trained by Shang Chi, Black Widow, and Shang Chi, and Cap. I didn't know that part. Okay, I know he's trained by Shang Chi. Likes to role play as Doctor Strange. Industrial complex, selling devastating high tech arms to the highest bidder. And Tony got to see his handiwork firsthand when it. That's how America did it. That's how Dad did it. And it's worked pretty well so far. <laughs> Literally. So yeah. Dude, this first movie is so iconic. I don't care what no one says. Back to the good old US of 
US of A, he devoted his Such life a good to protecting movie. the world from the kinds of weapons he helped make by making an even better robot suit and becoming a superhero. Hey, are you a gamer like me? No. Want to learn what I do to make money without ever leaving my computer? Not at all. Exactly. Building new suits of armor wasn't just a hobby for Tony, but an obsession. Over the course of his long career as a founding member of the Avengers, he has constructed dozens of different models, which he can call to him at once like a literal one-man army. Most of his armors come with the same basic toolkit. Super strength, massively hypersonic flight, and repulsor blasts. Repulsors are extremely dense beams of muons, unstable subatomic particles similar to electrons. Hmm. They're actually really interesting to see. It's the Avengers game? I heard it's not that bad. <laughs> it's a laser. Just suck I mean, the fun out of it. Yeah. His armors also come with onboard AI. Like Friday, which can hack into enemy technology, command his other suits to fight remotely, and operate down to the picosecond. That's one Whoa. trillionth of a second. Pico Even second. outdated armors are strong enough to blow up a chunk of rock as big as Manhattan. By taking a look at its speed, Tony's armor would have had to be hidden with an energy of nearly 300 teratons of TNT. Calculation. Three times stronger than the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaur. It's comics. Calm Here's down. Now, I'm messing. Calm down. <laughs> People are mad about that. And he has an armor for almost any occasion. He's got an armor to bust bolts, an armor to bust doors, an armor that can turn intangible, a super tiny armor that can mess with your insides, really? and an armor made of white sticky alien goo. Oh yeah, You're that one. That's the one he used to defeat uh, Lex Luthor, right? In order to remain as flexible as possible, though, his standard go-to is the Model Prime. It has all the classic Iron Man staples and has even incorporated size changing for extra strength, an invisible stealth mode, and a badass lightning samurai sword. Yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty, it's pretty dope suit. It was more He's flawed, man. Insane devil may care attitude that led to Tony revealing his secret identity to the world, which I guess had no consequences. Not really. Look, I mean, Liz, when you build a space laser strong enough to wipe out alien fleets in one shot, I don't <gasps> think the Mandarin is going to interrupt your swarm of lunch date. That space laser is a Dyson sphere, a speculative Dyson superstructure sphere. that is meant to encircle an entire star and harness its energy. Something only possible by a theoretical type 2 civilization on the Kardashev scale. What is he, Rick and Morty? He saw what he just did? <laughs> to draw power from the entire solar system. I know it's comics, but the fact that Tony just has one of these lying around is insane. Known as Soul's Hammer, Tony's incomplete sphere is strong enough to destroy a planet at only a 2% charge. Dang. Didn't you work on one of those? I remember you talking about how it would solve your student loan problems once and for all. Toast. On behalf of the families of several planets that no longer exist, I'm not legally at liberty to discuss that. Years of protecting the world from aliens, gods, and even his friends. All of that stuff wore Tony down and turned him into the one thing he promised himself he would never become. A narc. <laughs> so the US government's enforcement of the Act led to a literal civil, cival war. war yeah, it was a good comic. It wouldn't be his last. Though it did prove he could hang with the best of them. He's beaten Captain America in hand to hand combat, survived blows from Thor, and even took down the World Breaker Hulk. He even matched Magneto. Magneto, Took him down. the guy that controls metal, the thing that surrounds Tony's entire body, by amplifying his power with Jupiter's magnetic field. And then Mag punched him with the power of the sun. Oh, snap. And it was like, no big deal. There really doesn't seem to be a limit to how insane... Made the sentry bleed? The shattered the Phoenix the Force? Hey, yo. Time travel, just sitting around one evening. My boy Tony's not to be messed with now. What? And because Tony's nothing if not predictable, he made an armor out of it. That's right. What? Armor out of a universe. This virtual armor is composed of solid holograms that can form any weapon Tony can think of. But ah, it, Tony might have it. Compared to the armor Tony created inside the escape. Tony the might God have Buster. it. It's literally Iron Man going Super Saiyan. The Godbuster was so powerful it destroyed the entire escape in a single blast. 
Along with the AI controlling all of it. Mother? What? What is this? Comics, man. Cosmic gods that can work with Celestials? Galaxies, like Galactus, Odin, and Franklin, who can threaten the multiverse with their power. So it lives up to the friggin' name in case you were wondering. Tony might have it. that kind of power that makes Tony special. After a life spent wallowing in vice and pleasure, Tony rebuilt himself into a man he could be proud of. Someone who could sacrifice everything to save the world. Yeah, I was such I suppose a... underneath it all, that man of iron had a heart of... Ah. Oh. You, want my property, you, you can't, can't have it. But I did you a big favor. I have successfully privatized world you. peace. <laughs> I love that movie. All right, let's take wagers. Like I said, I'm rooting for Iron Man. Although I think Batman may get it, but I'm rooting for Iron Man. Iron Man wins. Subscribe. Batman wins. Like the video. All possibilities. But first, if you want the same level of confidence as these two billionaires, check out Bluetooth. It's time for a death battle. <laughs> this is going to be a long one, isn't it? Oh, no. That man, you can't be. I can't be. Nah, dog. I can't let that fly. Hey, bats. <laughs> I can respect a man with a healthy sense of paranoia and billions to spare. But Steve and Nat are really up my ass about this. Take the watch I like the music in the background. Now, Bruce, you don't want this fight, Tony. It'll be the biggest mistake of your life. It's tough talk for a guy dressed as a bat. Nah, don't call for help. I figured out hacking in the second grade. How do you think I got in here? Aside from I like this music. It's like not it's like fake A C D C I thought we were grown ups here. Ready when you are. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Just like that? Yo! Dang. I like this music. I like how it switches. Doombot. And I am I. Ah, no. He pulled out his best weapon too quickly, I think. This might not be good. How'd it get so dark? There's a lot going on here. <laughs> Beam struggle, beam struggle. Ah, oh, you lost. No. Oh my. God. Of course, it's bat shape. The hologram one. As I divert some power to hacking that suit, like I said, second grade. Friday, fire the hammer. Ah oh, no, is this gonna work? Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Tony's in the blast radius, man. Uh oh, this might be bad. Come on, Tony. He's not gonna win this. Oh shoot. Oh no. Model 58, the nano armor. Snuck it into your body back on the watchtower. Friday, initiate self-destruct. No way. No way. No way! Yo! Yo! They just made so many people mad! Oh my gosh! They did not! All oh, the Batman fans are gonna be 
savage about this, bro. Cause like, oh my, I gotta hear. Oh, come on. Hey, all y'all that that went against me, or 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 you know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta subscribe now. I went Iron Man, Iron Man one. We already took the bet. Nah, ain't no backing out. You gotta subscribe. Oh man, my boy. You know if they fought naked, Batman would have beat the shit out of him. Well, Batman <coughs> is a character defined by his tenacity, preparedness, and utter genius. So is Tony Stark. Right. So neither could rely on that skill set alone to pull them through. And it shouldn't come as a surprise. Why has he got the doll? The standard bat suit couldn't quite hold up to the firepower of even the most basic Iron Man armors. The bat suit is surprisingly tough, sure, but it isn't taking hits from a dude that can punch apart Manhattan. And despite bats having a ton of nifty gadgets, Iron Man's armors were way more varied and powerful. With so hmm. many unique and often alien abilities, there was no way bats could predict all of them. With time, he could certainly figure out a plan of attack. But since of Tony is just as much a genius schemer as Batman, he could do the same. There are lots of cases where he would have won, especially with his ace of the hole, the Hellbat. Ah, here. The Justice Buster was specifically designed to face the Justice League. Many of his armament, armaments would be ineffective against most Iron armors. Likewise, it cannot counter the abilities of certain Iron suits. Interesting. Raw power and speed absolutely dwarfed the majority of Iron Man's arsenal and could have killed him immediately were it not for Tony's own trump card. Like the Godbuster, which was definitely strong enough to contend with it. The Hellbat can take on Darkseid, but a weaker version of the Godbuster could hold its own against Celestial. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Threatening the multiverse with his power and moving many times faster than light, but the Celestials were capable of the same. I was about to say, Celestials were like the gods too. Tony could buy himself enough time to break out all his other tricks. Like sneaking nano armors into Batman's body, phasing through him with ghost tech, draining the Hellbat's power, or just hacking his suit and shutting it off. Wow. With an army of armors at his beck and call, Tony could certainly hold Batman off long enough to employ those strategies. Hell, wow. since he can control them remotely, he technically didn't even need to be there and put himself in harm's way. And remember, True. The Hellbat used I said Doombot. Life force as a battery. He needed to end the fight quick or else his own armor would kill him first. With Tony throwing an army at him, he didn't have a good way of doing that. Tony just had way too much shit to throw at Batman. While Batman didn't have the time or options he needed to keep up. How do y'all feel? God among men, but Iron Man's wealth of gadgets, insanely powerful tech, and greater mechanical experience oh my allowed him gosh. to crush the Cape Crusader. <laughs> think it's an Yo. That Batman's gonna need avenging, but Iron Man was in a whole nother league. Oh my gosh. The puns on puns on puns. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Oh man. Else to watch? We just Next one? No, okay. Anyways, oh my gosh, they did it. I did not think Iron Man was going to win. I, I was rooting for Iron Man, like I said, but I, when they started going over the whole Batman suit or whatever, like the real extreme one, Hell Bat or whatever, I was like, okay. And then they started going over Iron Man stuff, stuff I didn't even know about. And I'm a big, I'm a big Marvel DC fan, but I'm more into the Marvel side. I know a lot more about their lore and characters. So when they started going over stuff about Iron Man, I didn't even know about. I was like, okay, it's I don't know, man. I thought due to sheer popularity, Batman might have taken it, but I respect Death Battle because this is not their only fight in which um Batman has faced an opponent, and he has you know what I'm saying he's lost. You know what I'm saying he fought Spider Man, he lost. He fought Black Panther, he lost. Which I agreed to how they uh, justified those, but. You know, it's, it's not too often on the internet people admit that, like, Batman is capable of losing. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I know a lot of you guys are probably mad at me right now. I know a lot of you Bat fans are disputing down in the comments um, why it is that this is wrong. And I'm fair to say that Death Battle has a couple times made predictions in which I disagree with. However, I do agree with this one. Anyways, y'all let me know down below in the comments, man. How do y'all feel? I know some of y'all got something to say <laughs> let me know down below in the comments man also like i said if you didn't go against me bro you gotta subscribe everyone just go ahead and subscribe bro because iron man won i i, I was right I, subscribe bro you know what i'm saying I, I post content every day you enjoy yourself don't worry about it join the journey anyways with that being said like comment share subscribe definitely leave a comment i want to know what you got to say follow me on twitch you can also follow me on youtube you can also follow me on instagram lira says so same as youtube channel there you can send me stuff to react to and that being said peace